Hey there, Coach Amanda here for another recipe. Let's make crock pot chicken curry. And this recipe is great if you're in the hell span phase as it contains coconut milk. We're gonna chop up some celery, carrots, onions, and mushrooms. But what's great about a curry is you could really add any vegetables that you like. For aromatics, we're gonna do garlic and ginger. To the crock pot, you're also going to add a can of full fat or light coconut milk. And for our spices, about two teaspoons to one tablespoon of sea salt and about two to three tablespoons of curry powder, depending on how spicy you want it. You can also add in red chili flakes. Next up comes our protein. I'm going to be using chicken thighs here. You could also use chicken breasts. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot along with a half a cup of broth. And then this is what it's gonna look like on low after about six to seven hours. Last step is to take the chicken out, shred it with a fork, and then add it back into the curry mixture. That night I served this curry over cauliflower rice as my measured vegetable, and then I froze the rest because this curry also freezes super well. When I wanted it about a month later, I just simply defrosted it and I served it over this leftover zucchini and summer squash that I had. So this curry is very versatile. I topped it with some fresh cilantro and sriracha, but you could also do some green onions and additional curry powder. Would you try this? Enjoy.